hello friends today our topic is scalar multi threading okay so we will discuss first of all what is thread and uh, for that what is multi threading and uh, how are we going to create threads okay now we'll try to see what is thread thread is nothing but it's a lightweight sub process that occupies the less memory okay how are we going to create a thread in the sense there are two ways which we can create one is thread class okay by extending thread class and the second one is by extending the runnable interface okay that we will see down the line in practically and okay so now let's step in what is multi threading multi threading in the sense so we can execute multiple threads at once which is nothing but multi threading we can also perform multiple operations independently in order to achieve the multitasking because this helps basically the concurrent application mechanism okay okay so now we'll try to see practically what we discussed okay now we are in intellij ide and we are trying to create a scalar object let's say thread okay first of all we will try to create a class and then we will try to create an object for that class and we will try to invoke the method in order to run the uh, uh, method in the class okay let's say create class class let's say i'll take my thread this is extends this extends thread thread class okay the class which extends the thread class okay now this will override run method okay this will override run method in order to print the desired output okay what we are going to print this lens dimension thread thread dot current thread dot get name okay so we would like to print the current thread name okay now we'll try to create the main method main arcs string okay now we'll try to so we will try to print the number of threads let's say i would like to print 1 to 5 let's see how can we achieve that let's say 1 to 5 threads i would like to print let's say uh, it's equal to new my thread so i am creating object for the class start now let's say set name start to string okay now start let's start okay now we'll try to see what why i created new so what exactly the meaning of this new so new in the sense this is the first state when the thread is just created okay the meaning of new is it is your first state when the thread is just being created okay so that's what the new indicates now we'll try to describe this program so we have created a class called my thread and that is going to extend the thread class okay and this class overrides the run method okay in order to print the desired output which we are going to pass it 
and then in the thread how this is going to run thread method here if you look at it under the main method we are instantiating object for the class and then we are invoking the struct method which instantiate to run the run method in the class okay let's see the desired output which should get it should fetch one to five threads okay See, thread 1, thread 2, thread 3, thread 4, thread 5. There are 5 threads has been created. So, this is one of the way guys uh, which by using extending the thread class. Now, we would like to see we discussed another way also right that is called a runnable interface. Let's try to implement that as well. Okay. Now, we are extending using the runnable interface. Okay. Now, now we are extending the thread okay now we are extending the thread we are creating a thread object by passing new my thread okay so what we are doing we are creating creating an object for the thread and we are passing constructor as a class okay we are passing constructor as a class okay by creating the object and then we are invoking the start method in order to instantiate and run the run method in the for that class okay now let's see how this runnable interface is also out of error it should print the same way like you know one to five okay see thread one thread two thread three thread four thread five so these are the two ways guys uh, you know which we can implement okay so what exactly here runnable will do in the sense the meaning of this is this is the state basically when the thread has been created but the thread has not got the chance to get start running okay that's the meaning okay thread has been created but uh, there is no chance to get a start to run the thread okay that is the meaning of uh, runnable okay and uh, remaining concept is as it is as we discussed okay so that's all uh, for today's guys uh, for about the threading concept if you really like this video please do subscribe like and share